Am I live? <laughs> Hello, everybody. This is Dr. Michelle Maross, and I am so not used to using Facebook Live. So I don't know. Well, now I realize I'm not going to be able to see anyone's faces, but I can see you in the chat. So if you are here, please say hi because I'm so lonely. Uh, I'm not, but you know, it's nice to know that someone's out there listening. So, unapologetic tribe. Now, normally I have a, a little poster back here that says you, your vibe attracts your tribe, but it is sitting in studio with the Denim and Pearl set. And I'm just like, oh, darn it, I don't have it. But then again, I'm going to Denim and Pearls in about an hour or two to do the live of Denim and Pearls with Brian Swanson. So, what is the unapologetic tribe about? Well, one of the things that you know, I'm a John Maxwell coach, right? So one of the things that John Maxwell said years ago was that you make a living by what we get, but we make a life by what we give. And at the beginning of my journey as a speaker and a coach, I gave a lot. I was always on Facebook Lives. I was always giving tidbits of information everywhere I went. And then as I moved up that echelon of speaking and writing books and all of these things, I ran out of time. I thought I ran out of time. And I started pulling away that I didn't do a lot of Facebook lives. I do my podcast. I do, you know, with Denim and Pearls, I do a podcast with Amplifluence for the books. I do my, my TV show, the live stream from the Philippines. And so I thought, well, I'm connecting with people. I'm doing this, but I'm not giving in the way I used to give when I first started. I love talking to you. I love being live and being able to hear your comments and help you through whatever's going through your mind at the moment in time. Now, I don't know if you can hear my puppy, but he is losing his mind out here. So please excuse Larry. So the unapologetic tribe, I created this page. Wow. I think I started it five years ago, not knowing what I was going to do with it. Now, the unapologetic, it's, it's called Live Unapologetic. And it's a, a group page that I have that here on Facebook. And what my my plan is, is I'll be doing some of these lives once a month or more than once a month, but always on Fridays at 10. And what will happen is I will eventually do a private group on that Live Unapologetic page, group page, where only the people on that page will see me. And what I'm doing with this is I want to find out who wants to be part of this uh, Live Unapologetic group. What's so important about being part of a, a, a team, a, a group, a tribe? Oh, hi, Sally. Hi, Karen. What's so important about being in a group or a tribe is we all have, we should all have a cycle of growth. We should all have this destiny, this, this willingness to grow outside of our comfort zone. Okay. And what this tribe will be, it is because some of us are already in it. We just don't realize it. I don't have a name for it. And now I do is that we are dedicated to growth. Now, if you're a dedi dedicated for growth, it, it gets bigger, it grows. And when you surround yourself with other growth minded individuals, that growth becomes exponential. Hi, Marcel. And so if you want to grow, if you want to shift your mind, shift, free your mind, you know, that kind of thing. Surrounding yourself with positive growth minded people will increase not only your potential, but it'll also motivate you to create more. I need to stop my dog from barking. Hey, Larry, come here. Thank you, puppy. So apparently that worked. So if you want to increase your potential to stay motivated in whatever you're doing, you've got to surround yourself with people with that kind of high energy, with that energy of um, seeing beyond, to have that positive outlook of what can be and to see outside of the box. Now, I call this a tribe, but what I'm thinking is more of a holacracy. 
I don't want to be the leader. I will lead. But what I want in this tribe is there are so many people who follow. I know Larry has a lot to say. So many people who surround me, who are in my world, who are leaders and experts in their fields. What I would like to do with this an apology. Larry, come here. Stop looking out the window. Come here. I'm going to hold you for the whole call. Come here. This is the talkative Larry. Okay. So the thought is, although it's in my page, it's all my stuff, I would love for each of you in your expertise to say, hey, Michelle, and we know you're traveling. I'll take the call. I'll lead the call this week that kind of thing. And what we're doing is not only are we exposing each other to our expertise. Yeah, Larry's a sweet boy. Hi, Deborah. <laughs> yes, Karen. We, I, want to, I want support, leaders supporting leaders. And what will happen is, let's say I have an event or I know of an event, someone's invited me or someone else like this, like you know an event or someone else, we can share among each other our expertise but what's happening in our worlds that we can be involved and support each other with. And not just for our own events, but say, oh, you know, I, I heard this event is happening in Tampa. And I remember what you did from when you talked um, on that live that I think it would be a great fit. This is the person you need to talk to. You see what the unapologetic tribe is, is growing together. It's always what I've always wanted. When I started the Hold My Crown book, Women of Grit Share Stories of Resilience, that's what I told the authors. This is not just us. It's not just our stories. This is a movement. And this is where I'm starting with it. Hold My Crown, my authors. I want all of them on this unapologetic, uh, unapologetic tribe. And then I want more of you to join in also. Because together is how we move. Now, people look at my journey and do, wow, Michelle, I mean, you have a brain injury, you did this, you started in Toastmasters, you never won a contest. You know, I never won an international contest. But what I did is I'm very good with connecting people. I'm a master connector and I remember stories. So the more I hear of each of your stories, the more I'm able to connect you. And so my thought process is, People asked how I grew so exponentially. You have to remember, I got hit by that car in 2014. I lost two years, did a TED Talk, and then the next thing I know, I'm global with 28 books and 14 bestsellers. I mean, it, it, it happened really fast. But I didn't do it alone. It's the people I surrounded myself with. So this is what I'm offering with the Unapologetic Tribe. Very poignant people who are heart-centered, who want to help each other grow, who are willing to give feedback, honest feedback, who are willing to be vulnerable with each other. And my thought is we're all on the same, oh, Gary, Gary Barnes said this, we're all on the same road, just at different mile markers. And we can get guidance from someone further ahead or someone further behind but either way we can give each other advice from where from our perspectives are you going to go bark if i put you down mm, he's groaning so my thought with this is we are all on some direction a momentum we can either run to the end zone since it's the football season run to the end zone or stay in our comfort zone and i think together we can run to the end zone in each of our own individual markets. There is no competition. There's just thriving together. And you know, I'm the attitude queen. I'm like the happy person, but attitude is the key to everything. And as you know, we, we get locked in our bubble and we get locked in our, oh my gosh, I've got to get this done and I've got to get this done. And we get locked in the bubble and our attitude shifts. This group is where I want to be able to come together. Yes, lift and soar. Because I want us to be able to come together and say, you know what, I'm, I'm beating my head against the wall. Can someone have coffee with me and get on a live, start a live in the, in the, uh, in the uh, Live Unapologetic group and say, 
Somebody pick up a cup of coffee. Let's have coffee together. And we can be, we'll be around the world. I mean, a lot of people who follow me are all over the place. So you could wake up at two o'clock in the morning on Mountain Standard Time and get on and somebody in India is wide awake drinking coffee or tea with you. That's what the tribe is going to be. It's what it is. We just have to start doing it. Y'all like it so far? I, I think I just, that's what I've been seeing in my mind because I'm traveling all over the place and I get in spots where I do, gosh, I really wish I could just talk to somebody. And in my world, I've got a lot of men and then I'm always like pounding, I'm always bugging Sally and Marcel. And I thought maybe we should do more where we all have access to each other and say, you know what? Hey, Karen, um, I know I have a call with you next month, Wednesday at you know, 1030, but can we get on now? Oh, and anybody else can join us too. That's what the tribe's about. So we all create our momentum. We grow momentum together. We stay motivated together. And as we stay motivated and we keep our momentum going, we will draw more to all of us. Isn't that lovely? So I saw a quote by Dr. William Glasser. He says, the quality of your life and the duration of your success journey depends on your attitude. You are the only person who has control of that. And in my mind, you change your attitude. You must change your behavior. And if we are always in our own little boxes, thinking our own little thoughts and start beating ourselves up for the things we don't think we're doing right, if we don't get out of that comfort zone of, whoa, me, we won't grow. So no matter what your business is, no matter where you are in the world, no matter whatever your goal is, together, we can do it. And that's how my brain works. Hi, Brian. Hi, Marcel again. Yes. Okay. So my question to all of you right now who are live with me, do you want to do this call weekly on Fridays or once a month for right now? Because I'm thinking I'm going to come on every Friday morning, no matter where I am, unless I'm out of the country, then that makes it difficult. And then I'll tag team and say, somebody else take the call. Someone, someone lead the call. And then what we do is we come on live. And then in the, if you haven't joined the group yet, it's called Live Unapologetic. I will put the thread when I get off and that way you can find the group. But join the group because I'm pretty sure we can go private live in that group and we can just have our little conversations there because I don't like group chat on uh, Messenger. I don't like writing, says a lady with 20 something books. I want to be able to talk to each other. Okay. So let's do it once a week, create the habit. We'll make that groove in our record. Now we, to build a habit, you've got to do it for several weeks, months actually, but we'll start every Friday at 10 Mountain Standard Time. I will come on every Friday at 10. <laughs> That's cause you're my people. Yeah, we, I want to be able to see your faces. I want to be able to get on a group where we all can just sit around and talk and if it doesn't work on Facebook Live in the group, then I don't know, we'll start a, a, a Zoom call that I'll put the link into that call, into the, uh, the page, and then that way we can talk more. Yes, have it on the calendar every Friday, 10 a.m. I will do this live thing um, publicly for now. And then as we grow in numbers, then I will move it to a Zoom call inside of the Live Unapologetic group. And then we will thrive and grow because we need to draw more of us together. And, um, you know, the vibe attracts your tribe and you all know my vibe. I'm kind of happy go lucky and a little determined. So let's do it together. And if you have any of I, any other ideas, you know, write it in there, tell me. And Marcel, I saw, I read penicillin in, I'm like, huh? Penciled in. <laughs> yeah. I love seeing faces. So I didn't know that I wouldn't see your face by going live. So next week, Friday, we'll go live again, just like this until, I don't know, we'll get like 20 more people into the group and then we'll start, I'll do a live and then we'll do a private, we'll do our private thing, do lives and do a private thing. Okay. So 
live so that everybody can see us and start coming towards us. And then we'll do private, private um, group chats within Live an Apologetic Facebook page because it's a it's a locked private page. Sound good? Okay. So I've talked for 16 minutes and I promised only 30. So do you want me to keep talking or do you want to do you want me to end it? I can talk. I can talk. Right? Okay. So I said so five times so far. And that's what I realized. Even I with at the level I'm at, I still need feedback. And nowadays what I get is, oh, you're awesome. And I really need the feedback I used to get in like Toastmasters, what they do. You actually put in five, you did five so's and you said, I will let me tell you something, you know, I, whatever. Because my, my thought is something as simple as this is feedback for me because I get lazy. Although I, I'm, I'm on, always on myself, when I get comfortable in a call like this, talking to all of you, I get lazy. And it's not lazy in, in purpose. It's just I go into regular talk. And I have to remember as a speaker that regular talk is great, but I can't bring that onto the stage. And so I need people like you that will be willing to tell me. I need accountability partners. So I've built the unapologetic tribe for accountability, not just for all of you, but for me. Yes, complacent is the word. Thank you so much. And that is what I, I'm battling with me right now. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, like the business plan thing that Barry has told me I need to sit down with him and I never have. So Barry, let's get on a calendar. Maybe you should like lock me into that because I'm scatterbrained when it comes to those kind of things. So that is what I need. And that's what each of us need. How many of you out there have a business plan? Come on, be honest. I know one of you definitely does. But my thing is, we need accountability. And we need, to, we need someone else that says, you know what, you're missing something. I mean, my VA, Anjali, she told me, you know, Michelle, one of the things that drew me to you years ago, I mean, she was one of the first people who came up to me and said, I want to see more of you. Can you do more Facebook Lives? And then she said, I want to make courses for you. Oh, and I want to make your, your YouTube page. She saw things I didn't have, and she told me, let me do them. Let me fix them. Let me put ideas in your head. And so we've been doing this together for years now. She's been my VA for years. And she said, you know, Michelle, you haven't done a Facebook Live in a long time. And I said, well, I, I do my podcast and things. She says, no, I like hearing you. I want to be able to hear you and I want to be able to ask you questions and I'm sure I'm not the only one. She says, can you please do Facebook lives again? And I went, oh my goodness, really? And she says, yes, you should do a Facebook live. And it's just better yet, you should do a Facebook live for the people who really, really want to be with you. You have a tribe. You have a live unapologetic page. Why don't you use it? And I'm like, I forgot I had it. <laughs> so that's so amazing that no matter where we are, we all need someone else. And if we can just talk like this and get on a private chat where we can see each other's faces and do a Zoom call and be able to talk and not, you know, not say, you know, not fill us each other, fill each other in on our lives, but say, you know, this has been going through my head and it's driving me nuts. Do you have an answer? Or have you experienced this? Because I'm sure someone in this group has. And we can advise and help and guide and lead or mentor, whatever it is. And because uh, my VA just schooled me. <laughs> She's awesome. I love Anjali. And hopefully she gets to be able to come on some of these calls so you can meet her also. I love that woman and she's all the way in India. So I'm pretty sure she's not awake right now. And remember that we make a living 
by what we get. We make a life by what we give. And this would be a group of givers. And together we shall rise and we'll rise up, you know, rise up and praise. And together we can do it. Now, I'm pretty sure Brian's sitting over there doing, why isn't Michelle on her way to my house so that we can do Denim and Pearls live at noon? And I'm thinking, it's only 1020. He's got 10 more minutes before I need to start driving in that direction. What did Karen say? I have one. Never follow it, though. It's, it's all about accountability, right? <laughs> yes, accountability from the right person. And I think that's why um, with this group, it'll be amazing. And I know Deborah, Deborah's a... Uh, Deborah's a smart pants too. We need Deborah in that group. So Deborah, please stay with us. And Karen, yes, you. Sarah, uh, Sally, yes, you. Marcel, yes, you. Brian, yes. Barry, yes. You know, all of you invite other people that you know can bring some power knowledge into our group where we all get to different levels where we have people, we don't have people we can talk to that can even equate to what we're, our, 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 our issue is. That's what the unapologetic tribe is all about. Remember, it's a holacracy. It's not a tribe. There's no tribal leader. I happen to start it, but together, we'll do it together. We are a holacracy, the unapologetic holacracy. I couldn't name it that because I thought no one would know what I meant. And it's kind of a long word. And, you know, Barry would do. Yeah, too long. Not marketable. <laughs> and there's another young man I'm going to bring in. And I know he's got a date out, so it'll be difficult for him to get on these normal calls. But um, I met Tony Mizell, and I think he'd be a good person to have in this, our, our tribe. And he'll probably come on at night or do private, you know, Zoom calls that he can share what he does. But um, that's what I want to do. That's what we're doing. Done. We're doing it. Not gonna, not thinking, not trying. Are. You're all in? You're all in. So I'll see you next week, Friday, 10 o'clock. And we will um, dive into what is what successful people do. How do they success, succeed? What little trait they use? I'll, I'll bring something in and then we can all talk about it. <laughs> Done doing it. Done. Yes. So I'll bring some wisdom next week, Friday. And if you have anything you you want to talk about, let me know and we'll, we'll interweave it because I'm very good at that. But right now I've got John C. Maxwell in my brain because He's how I started, and so he's how I want to start talking to everyone in this open forum. Because he led me to become the woman I am today. And Dr. Paul Shilley has helped me immensely get over the obstacles that have been in my brain. And now I want to share those with you. And then in the private group, we will talk individually on our individual topics. So go be the best version of you. Go have a great Friday. Tune in to Denim and Pearls at noon on Denim and Pearls podcast or denimandpearlslive.com. And I'll see you Friday. Same bat time, same bat channel. Exactly the way we're doing it right now. I'll come back live. Invite some friends. Share this so that those you want to join with us know that I'm coming on Fridays at 10 o'clock. And then they join the Live Unapologetic Tribe where we can do our private conversations. So I'll keep fishing live every Friday at 10. And then we'll do our groups inside Live Unapologetic group page. I'll put it in the comments in a minute. Go be the best you. I'll see you at noon on Denim and Pearls. And I'll see you next week, Friday at 10. Thanks for joining me. I love all of you. Be well. Take care. <laughs>